Have you ever enjoyed a cramped ride in the MRT or a packed shopping mall over a spacious one? Well, atoms and molecules want their personal space too. Diffusion is the movement of molecules or atoms to a region with lower chemical potential. Since the chemical potential increases with increasing concentration, expressing diffusion in terms of concentration is more convenient. Basically, atoms don't like getting cramped and will move to more spacious areas once they get the chance to, and will eventually spread out to a relatively even distribution within a space. This movement is dependent on the random movement of particles due to kinetic energy and not on the movement of the containing medium. For example, passengers in the MRT will still move towards free seats whether the MRT is in transit or at a train stop. Bulk motion of the medium is called advection and diffusion combined with bulk motion is called convection. Here are some factors affecting diffusion. Temperature. Think of temperature like food. Barring any other factors, if two people were asked to race against each other, would person A who ate breakfast versus person B who hasn't eaten in 6 hours win the race? When the temperature is elevated, the average kinetic energy of the molecules is increased. Since the diffusion rate is determined by the molecule's kinetic energy, this causes an increase in the rapid movement of the molecules throughout space. Thus, temperature and diffusion rate have a direct relationship. This can be seen in our first experiment. The materials we need are transparent cups, hot water, cold water, and food coloring. Fill one cup with cold water, one cup with water at room temperature, and one cup with hot water. After this, simultaneously drop food coloring in all three setups. It can be observed that food coloring diffuses faster at warmer temperatures. Density of diffusing substance Let's go back to the MRT analogy. If we had to go to the other end of the MRT to get a seat, would it be easier to navigate across a train full of passengers if you were a 3-foot kid or if you were a 400-pound sumo wrestler? At a fixed temperature, the particles have the same average density, so lighter atoms or molecules will naturally be more mobile and will naturally travel faster compared to heavier and denser molecules. Thus, the density of the diffusing substance is inversely related to the diffusion rate. In this experiment, we will be verifying the effect of diffusing substance density on diffusion rate. The materials we need are soy sauce, ketchup, lipstick, transparent cups, white cloth, and bleach. First, we need to prepare the dilute bleach solutions. After this, we coat each white cloth with a different substance, all of varying densities. We chose soy sauce, ketchup, and cream lipstick. We then soak all three samples simultaneously into the identical dilute bleach solution setups and compare the total time elapsed until complete diffusion, exhibited by a clean cloth. As we can see, diffusion occurs slower with denser diffusing substances. Density of medium of diffusion Physically, the particles of the medium of diffusion act as a barrier to the movement of the diffusing substance, and as the number of collisions between the two substances increases, the diffusion rate decreases. Thus, if the diffusing medium consists of bigger or denser particles, the number of collisions increases and subsequently, the diffusion rate decreases. This can be observed in our last experiment in which we check the effect of diffusing medium density on the diffusion rate. The materials we need are transparent cups, water, dishwashing liquid, rubbing alcohol, and food coloring. We fill one cup with rubbing alcohol, one cup with water, and one cup with dishwashing liquid. After this, we simultaneously drop 2-3 to three drops of food coloring into each setup. It can 
be observed that diffusion occurs lower in denser media, which in this case is the dishwashing liquid. Concentration gradient The concentration of a solution is defined as the number of molecules of solute or the diffusing substance in a given volume. When there is a large difference in the concentration of the diffusing substance in a region, the tendency of the solute is diffused faster into the area with a lower concentration. Thus, the rate of diffusion increases with a steeper concentration gradient. Diffusion is the unspoken hero of many natural phenomena. It helps in the exchange of gases during respiration, photosynthesis and transpiration in plants, as well as in the digestion of nutrients in the human body. Other than its implications on related processes, it is noteworthy to know that diffusion creates energy. Given a semi-permeable membrane, the net flow of solvent within the concentration gradient results in the development of osmotic pressure. This induces a force on the membrane which causes it to move at a certain distance x. Numerically equating this process results to work, which is force times distance, which then can be associated with the occurrence of energy. With these factors contributing to its behavior, diffusion occurs in our system in many ways we can imagine, from being able to smell things around us up to modifying material structures by mobilizing atoms in a lattice. Diffusion plays a vital role in various biological and thermodynamic processes. Uh,